Landscapes, riverscapes, seascapes, and subterranean spaces. From water across land and down beneath the surface of the earth. From invertebrates to fish to mammals, their morphology, physiology, and anatomy. Researchers in botany covered an extensive range of flora, particularly either plants local to the Bristol area or where research into a plant could be used for agricultural purposes. Many of the students chose to focus on species or landscapes local to Bristol, such as botanist Rose Brasher's thesis considering the ecology of the Avon banks at Bristol which made a great contribution to the knowledge of vegetation in this area. Yet their contributions were not limited to university research communities. Many undertook projects working with a range of partners, such as Lily Batten's work with the Ministries of Supply and Health, which had influential findings. There was a strong desire to pass on knowledge and involve others in research about the more than human world, such as Frederick Stretton Wallace's work in adult education and work with the Bristol Museum to preserve natural heritage, Rose Brash's student handbooks on ecology, Lily Batten's extensive work on seaweeds, and Leo Palmer's endeavours to record and proliferate speleological knowledge. These students' doctoral theses made important contributions to the knowledge of a variety of landscapes and their species, from water across land and down beneath the surface of the earth. 